Well, the pink's not gone in that pocket. What about the other one? 40, and the first frame. Well, he's not bothered about the black. There you see it, just grazed the yellow. One. Played what? an unbelievable safety shot there, but what a fluke. But the safety shot he's picked out was quite amazing. One. Just me. It's getting, nerves are getting a bit frayed Thank out, you. aren't they, out there? He was away off that pot. From Mark's perspective, he'll be happy that the balls look relatively safe, though. world champion. one way of getting them, John. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I mean, it's not possible because balls have been potted, but of course, all those years ago, that's how Cliff Thorburn started his maximum break, wasn't it, with a fluke? Oh, well, oh, 
has he flipped it? Has he flipped it? Oh, seven. Well, can you believe it? Oh, what a fluke. At this stage. Hmm. You just think he's going to go for a colour here, but nothing easy. No. Where's the green going? Well, would you believe it? This game never ceases to amaze, does it? The things that happen on a snooker table. Four. 12 foot by six, that's all. The green was close. Settle down, please. Hit the yellow, went in the middle. One. Gonna go close. Oh, wow. Well, we talked about the luck even in itself, but Ronnie can't believe that that red's gone in the middle pocket. Well, that's one of the best flukes I've seen. He's tried to pot it up into the corner and it goes in off two reds. Wow. Where's that red going? Why they call him Ball One. Run Bingham? He gets a fair run of the ball, but uh, as we show you the flute. Mm, he did. He got very close to it. Now where's that second red going? It's in the pocket. Goodness me. What a time for a slice of fortune. Close to the red, but once it's ran loose, it's hit the second red, which has hit the cue ball. Gone in the pocket, would you believe it? One. trying to arc the cue ball off this red between the two reds near the pink spot and back home. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, just Telly wants to take a pot on. Well, what a fluke that could turn what? out to be. He was a long way off the pot, but held his hand up. But, uh, well, John's got to sit there and, as we show you the fluke again, not only the fluke, but perfect position. Well, the fluke only got him one point. The rest was excellent. Oh, as he fluke one, it's Judd's turn to have a fluke. But if he's straight on the yellow, here we go. Attention, all pockets. Here we go. Is there anything in? There is. There's two in. Well, one in. Wow. But he's got a tough blue. Oh, where's the red going? Where is the red ball going? Can you believe it? He's fluked a snooker. When he was snookered, Thank you. and now he's fluked the red. It was a decent effort, a safety shot. What a fluke on the red 25. to seal the frame. And Yan Bing Tao, who's going to take the black as well, will be absolutely delighted. One.
57 in the frame. Stephen Maguire. Listen, it's not a problem. Can you get it safe? Can you get it safe? Can you pot it? Can you pot it? Unbelievable what happens on this snooker table. 12 foot by 6. Don't you believe it? Shame it had to be decided by a fluke. Such a cruel game is snooker. So Ronnie well, Poster the pink is on the way to the dressing room. His three frame advantage restored. One. Oh. He holds his hand up straight away. Liam Highfield was already on his way out of his chair. Anthony McGill, who marches into the last 16 for the sixth time in his career. Oh, goodness me. We were looking at what he'd left and then he looked to the left middle pocket. How big a fluke is that going to be? So, great century to finish. Aided, it has to be said, by a fluke. He started the session seven behind. It's now three. Game on!